A total of 150 jobs have been created. 148 of those employed are locals of Tabanchu and two others are from the nearby Botabelo. The factory sources scrap metal from across the country to process it into steel and iron for the domestic and export market. Construction of the factory started in 2021 and was officially launched last week. The workforce is currently in training. Firstly, the safety training, like especially what not to do, is not what to do. First is what not to do to be make sure that they are safe they, when they're working here. That's the first priority of the policies. Then secondly is the uh, different metal sorting, metal testing and uh, mechanical and some of them of the basic skill training. I would say basic mechanical skill training and some of the specific uh, smelter training. The supervisor at the factory says operations will bring much needed economic improvement to the community. Uh, I'm so very, very happy because I, it's been a while since I, I was not working, right? Then there's a lot of guys here who need, uh, who need, who really need this job. The Department of Economic Development says eradicating joblessness is its priority. It says this investment is a clear demonstration that it is on a mission to attract more investors to grow free state economy. We had to appreciate that one of the our area of work in terms of the economy is trade and investment. Um, uh, because we said there's a need to create new money in the free state economy given our challenges. Um, and I don't want to waste time on those. There are known unemployment challenges, poverty, uh, inequalities amongst and within our people. So the smelter project in, in Tabant, it's an investment to the value of about 333 million. The department contributed around 11 million. Megu says the province is pursuing investors to invest in various municipalities in the province. The investment from Hangda Steel, which is based in the People's Republic of China, flows from the investment drive by the South Africa Investment Conference. Kamukhelo Siegui, SABC News, Tabanchu.